Um, the song I played is called Tin Smithing and it was written about a taxi ride that I took with a taxi driver in Galway, um, Ireland on the way to my friend's wedding um, last summer. It was uh, with a guy called Frank Feeney who was born and raised in Galway and he, um, on the way to the wedding reception, he drove me around the city and it was really gorgeous weather which is quite rare for Ireland and the UK in general. Um, and the sun was ablazing and he was pointing out all these different special places that had been built and one of them was the cathedral or at least the sort of main giant church in the centre of the town and there were stained glass windows and the design was a rose and so when I say Frank showed us the rose and the colours they chose la 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 that was just literally Frank pointing out this lovely <laughs> stained glass rose um, and that night after having quite a humblingly um, eye-opening journey with such a lovely guy uh, an older man, I should say maybe late 60s, early 70s, he um, he inspired me to sort of investigate uh, Irish crafts and so tinsmithing is a traditional Irish craft and I read um, into the sort of wee hours about uh, traditional things that Irish people have made over, over the centuries um, and uh, I was quite fascinated by people that made all these kind of interesting leather shoes and special bowls and dishes and things and tinsmithing I just love the term and I think that everything that's good we make with our hands and that's love and all other things so yeah ultimately it's a love song for my friends that got married um, and <laughs> I also took my hat off to Frank Feeney in Galway I wonder if does Frank even know? Frank does know, he yeah, does even... yeah, I'm in touch with him he actually gave me this ring, I don't know if you can see this um, and uh, it's a it's a famous ring um, which people have been oh the clattering of, exactly yeah. you know this yeah. yeah in Galway this used to be sort of the original uh, wedding ring and if you if you uh, if you point the heart towards your hand um, this means that someone loves you and if you tip it around so that the crown is facing that way it just means that you've got a good friend. And so he said it's up to me how I wanted to wear it. But yeah, we're in letter contact. And, um, and I sent him a card actually from New York the other day. And uh, yeah, I hope to go back to Ireland before long and, and yeah, keep him posted. Oh, that's awesome. That's really cool. I can't say, like, as a, as a New Yorker, I haven't had one experience with a New York cabbie that was quite as good as the situation oh, you just described. Yeah. <laughs> No, there's just yelling and honking. That's about it in New York. <laughs> the pace is different though in New York. Oh, for sure. Yeah. For sure. So, I mean, in terms of your songwriting process, do you, all your songs kind of, kind of come? I would, I would think whether it's uh, experiences you've had yourself or just yeah. you know through, I don't know, osmosis, whatever you want to say. Yeah. Uh, that's how you get. Most of your songs? Yeah, well, um, um, I'd say that until The Still Life, so my first, uh, the previous two records, I think I drew much more on imagination or referring to books and films or maybe experiences that I'd seen um, family or friends or people I was sort of aware of. I think I was drawing from other people's lives a bit more and also dipping in, um, to nature somewhat. but. The still life for a lot more exposed because I'd say probably it's my first record where I really lay um, my feelings out on the table. Um, but I suppose it also takes some time. You have to live with yourself as well to get to know yourself. Um, but I still draw on nature a lot, and I find a lot of comfort in the um, the constants of seasons and how you know if even if you're not feeling very strong sometimes you look down and you see this weed growing out of concrete and you think Jesus well if you can do that in the middle of winter I think <laughs> I can get my act together right. um, and just seeing how the strength in nature um, and patterns and uh, yeah the idea of the still life or what I'm trying to uh, share with music I suppose is, is somewhat sort of medicinal medicinal music I guess is what I'd like to make um, in, yeah, just I don't know. I don't. I wouldn't want to think that we have to wait till our seventies or eighties until we kind of enter this realm where we feel kind of uh, rooted and centered and aligned at last. You can kind of breathe. We should be able to be sort of calm and comfortable within ourselves from a, a young age. Um, so I'm just trying to bring the still life earlier. Yeah, good hopefully, for you. Hopefully the songs help. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. it's a work in progress. Uh, yeah, well, it is for everybody, right? So. Yeah. 
Um, and I know you're on the road for most of the summer, right? And mm -hmm. the fall, mm -hmm. you're with the Mountain Goats. So, yes, yeah. um, are you writing like for the? I know you just had an album yeah. come out, but yeah, yeah. I actually I have been writing. Um, I think that traveling um, sometimes helps the the coils to sort of the cogs and coils to turn. Yeah, I've got some poems that are lying around um, in my mind. <laughs> um, but I've also written some down too. And I look forward to having a bit of time to, um, I suppose, yeah, collate because I do usually write words and then we'll find melodies um, and sit with the guitar. Having said that, there are some songs that I've played guitar for a few hours and then something will just come out and you'll wonder, well, where did that land in from? But for the most part, words exist for a while and then the music will follow. So, um, yeah, I've got one or two new songs. Um, I look forward to making another record, yeah. Cool. Awesome. Well, good luck. Thank you. Have a good summer. Thank you. Too.